Hi, uh, this is a video for my marine engineering class that shows you how to uh, do uh, the fir your first boat design um, using curved planes. All right, so we're going to start from a block as we did um, earlier on in the class, uh, and we're going to carve that block into a 16 foot um, boat uh, with some stability to it. All right, I'm going to start by creating a box. I'm going to select the XY plane or the bottom plane to start from. Then I'm going to click on the origin and click out to the side. Doesn't really matter what you do there because we're going to type in our numbers. We're going to type our length to be um, 15 feet. This is a convenient length because we can make this boat out of two sheets of plywood and have a little bit left over for the curves we're going to add. I'm going to start with a 30 inch width, 30 IN width. Um, that will allow us to, no matter what we create, it'll probably be stable enough to use. Um, and uh, it won't be too, too tippy or too prone to, cap, to uh, tip over or capsize. Um, the height we're going to start with is uh, 14 inches to give it lots of volume, but we're going to carve that down significantly um, in the end. Okay, now we just designed the whole boat, but actually we want to design half a boat. And I suggest going through this process just so you can visualize the whole thing, even though there is technically a faster way to do this. Uh, we're going to construct a midplane. Midplanes are a plane that is equidistant from two surfaces right in the middle. So I'm going to click on those two surfaces now as the, the uh, left side and the right side of the block. And click OK. This yellow plane is now the knife that we use to cut our boat in half by going to um, Modify, Split Body, also found up here. I'm going to select the body to split, which is my block. And I'm going to select my splitting tool, which is my... Um, which is my plane, and I'm going to click OK. All right, um, I'm going to hide one side so I can model just one side, uh, but I can turn it on and off if it helps to visualize the whole boat later. OK, so I'm going to turn off, um, turn off my construction plane, which is the yellow mid plane, by opening up that window and turning it off. And I'm going to turn off one of the two bodies um, I guess I want to turn off this side, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to call that side right and this side left, so I'm keeping my left side of the boat. You could call important starboard using maritime terms, but uh, left and right is fine too. Okay, now we're going to carve this side of the boat. Uh, and the way that we carve it, uh, first save your file. I'm going to save this file. Save it to your uh, personal storage, um, so you can exit the team. Uh, and save this on your own uh, would be the best. Let me show you how to do that real quick if you haven't done that already. So in your data panel, um, go to your single user storage and don't use your uh, engineering design marine engineering team for this. All right, I'm going to carve this um, using a plane. Uh, first, I got to save it to my single use storage, uh, to my personal use storage as uh, uh, Blake Boat One your name boat one and uh, we'll save it to I'm gonna save this to new project spring 2020 uh, spring 2021 save. okay uh, let's start carving this thing. So I'm going to go to um, use this create form button. Um, there are some other ways to do this, but I think this is the most useful. Click, click the create form. If you don't have this icon, click the down arrow on create and then click create form. Uh, it's kind of hard to see your box now, but it's still there. It's still grayed out. Um, and we're going to go to inside of this new menu with all these new tools in it. We're going to only use one of them. It's create plane or create plane. Now, this is the hardest part here. Uh, we want to start with a two point type rectangle. And I want to start um, on this surface right here. So on the surface closest to me on the actual uh, side of the boat, we're going to start on that surface. 
I'm going to click on that surface and then I'm going to draw a shape that is bigger a shape that is bigger than my boat not by much but by a little bit uh, maybe about five percent bigger or something like that something like there now there's a lot of ways to do this and this is where you need to do some experimentation I'm gonna start by doing it wrong and then show you how to do it right um, if you do a lot of faces uh, let's say 12 faces this way and four faces this way you can see that you have a lot of control over this here's what happens when you do this I can go to then my main tool I use is edit as uh, move form or edit form I can grab a point and I can adjust it but you can see I would have to do that a whole bunch of times to get the shape that I want there's another thing that's wrong about this and that we have uh, control points going both in horizontal and vertical direction we only want control points with vertical lines in this case so I'm gonna go back and remake that plane so I'm gonna go control Z get rid of it start again create plane grab the side I'm gonna use my view cube to get a good view and I'm gonna go just a little bit bigger on either side uh, I'm not gonna do 12 I'm gonna do length faces uh, which in this case actually is the the uh, horizontal lines I'm going to change this to one. We only want one there. And you can do four faces. I would do somewhere between two and four, two, two three or four here. Uh, and I'm going to start with really simple, just two faces here on the, on the, the width on the side. Click OK. Your length and width could be switched. What matters is that um, along the length of your boat, you only have one or two or three lines. All right, there's two things I can do to this now to start carving. One is to move the entire plane and one is to adjust the surfaces. So first to move the whole plane, I might look at it from the back and I might go to uh, modify move copy or shortcut M and I would click on that plane and I'm actually gonna rotate it five or 10 degrees and shift it around a little bit so I can um, cut my boat a little bit differently like that and click OK. Then I'm going to use my move uh, edit form command modify edit form and grab this line and I can move this line around to curve and cut my boat. I want to cut all the way across this back line like that and then I want to cut all the way across this side as well. If I grab that line and drag it across too, you can see the curve that you create there. I'm going to go back and move this one out again because I, I want to get some more width to the boat. And there's a lot more I could do, but this is all I want to do now. And if yours doesn't look like this, it's okay as long as you have a plane with one uh, with uh, no horizontal lines on it and it's bent. Finish form. I clicked finish form right there. Uh, oh, I'm noticing I missed a little bit here, but that's okay. We can change all this stuff later. Um, notice I've got my history down here of everything I've done so far. All right, I'm going to take this plane and use it as a method to cut this block with using modify uh, split body. And I'm going to cut this thing using this plane as a tool. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to grab the outside part, the part I don't want, right click on it, and remove. Don't use delete, but use remove. Um, I can also turn off that plane and see what I've got. To make the other side, I could go uh, just um, create mirror, grab the previous body, and copy it across its one, its side plane, and click join OK there's my first boat shape right there that little error in the back there let me show you how to fix that error you can go now you can go back and still edit your plane in the history by right clicking on it and edit and I'm gonna zoom in on that little problem I had right there I'm gonna go edit form I'm gonna click on that line and I'm gonna move it over just a little bit more click OK 
and then if I click finish form, it'll jump back to the front, uh, back to the end of the timeline, and it's created this uh, shape like this. This boat has some problems. It's flat on the bottom. We don't want flat, totally flat bottomed boats, and we don't want, um, and we don't want, it might be getting a little bit narrow, and we might want to add some more curves to it, but you have definitely completed the assignment at this point. This is an exceeding for this assignment, uh, and I will, uh, um, and, um, Follow the instructions on the assignment for how to turn it in.